Good morning, everybody. Okay, and welcome to another virtual English class. Let's start this class, please, first, making a revision. A revision from the last class. When we learn how to order food in a restaurant. Okay, tell me, please, some vocabulary we learned from the last class, okay? Xiomara, please, tell me one vocabulary from the last class. Xiomara, no? No idea? Okay, Fabricio, please, tell me one. Mushroom. Mushroom, very good. Leonardo, what about you? Sauce. Sauce, excellent. Adriana, one vocabulary, please. Pepper. Pepper, very good. Belen? Meatballs. Meatballs, very good. Nurka, one vocabulary. Pineapple. Pineapple, yeah. An ingredient, no, for pizza. Joshua, tell me one. Olive. Can you repeat, please? Olive. Ah, olive. Very good. Olives, no? Good. Christina, please, tell me one. Uh, tuna. Tuna, yeah. Very good, very good. Tuna, no? Tuna fish. Good. We learned the last class this vocabulary, now mushroom. And also we practice this conversation, one well, this short conversation. Now please, we are going to practice this conversation, okay? In groups of two, okay? Oh, sorry, come on. Let's see, two students, okay? Let's see, Alison, please, Alison, can you practice this conversation with Belen? Alison Grande, you A. And Belen, you the letter B. Okay? If you are ready, Alison, go ahead. Okay? Let's start. What kind of pizza should we order? How about this one, one with cheese, salsa, and Olive. I don't like tunas. Why don't why don't we order one with cheese? Mm. Sausage. Sausage. Um. And your favorite ingredient, Alison. And Alison, what is your favorite ingredient? Okay, good, 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 thank you. But pay attention, when you practice this, you need to remember change, no, one ingredient, you need to change one ingredient because you don't like, okay, because you don't like it, and change that ingredient for your favorite ingredient, okay? If the ingredients are these three, choose one, the one that you don't like, and change for other. Okay, now let's see, two boys, okay, now let's see. Joshua, please. Joshua, you A. And Mateo, please. Mateo, sorry, Diego, Diego Baca. Dieguito, you B. And Joshua, you A. Okay? okay. If you are ready, go ahead, okay? Yeah. Pues empezamos? Yes. What kind of pizza shall we order? Diego, what kind of pizza should we order, Diego? Yeah, 
Mm, how about this one cheese and mm, pepper mm, and not mushrooms? I don't like mushrooms. Why don't we order one with cheese, sausages, and um, tuna? And tuna, good. Diego. Mm, it sounds good. But worries. Uh, um, the waiter. The waiter. Thank you, Diego. Thank you, Joshua. Good. Remember, we talk about ingredients, no? About pizza. You have to use some expression, no? I would like. How about this? It sounds good. Okay. Now, please, let's just start with the class from today. Okay. In this class, today we are going to learn about some rules. Okay. You know, rules we practice everywhere. At the school, we, we have to practice some rules. At home, you practice some rules. But in this case, we are going to see some rules we practice around the town, in the city. Okay? Pay attention to this video, okay? Vehicles must follow traffic rules and signals. What does each light of the traffic signal say? Red light means we have to stop our vehicles. Green light means we have to go. After the green light, when the traffic signal shows yellow light, we have to slow down to stop our vehicles. Have you seen any road symbols? What does each of them mean? This is the parking symbol. It means we can park our vehicle here. We have to stop our vehicle when we see the stop symbol on the road. Okay, we see some, um, we see some rules we must follow, we must obey. You know, when you are driving a car, for example. Okay, so this video is about the rules we must obey on the street. Okay, and today we are going to learn about obligations. You know obligations, have to don't have to, has to, and now we are going to add prohibitions, okay? Some prohibitions. Let's remember the obligations. And obligations, let's remember with our songs. What about you? What about you? Do you remember our song? Jake wants to become a reporter. What does he have to do? He has to buy a camera and go to our school too. What about you? Yeah, this is obligation. No, we learn obligation. Let's remember, okay? Let's listen. Let's listen, please, and sing. Open your microphones, okay? Open. Two. Listen and complete. Then sing. What do I have to do? Open your microphones. Let's remember obligation, okay? Obligation. He wants to become a photographer. What does he have to do? He has to buy a camera. I want to watch the school too. What about you? 
Remember, obligation is when we use have to with I, you, we, and they, and when you use has to for he and she. This is obligation. No? Today we are going to learn prohibitions. And when we talk about prohibitions, we use we use this. Okay. In prohibitions, we use mass. This word. Mass. You see, this is a prohibition. Look at this traffic signal. This is a provision. You can park here. You mustn't cross the street. The negative form of must. You see? These two prohibitions. This is only a rule, no? You must buy a ticket. Okay? Now, please. To that, let's remember some vocabulary first, okay? Let's learn some vocabulary. It's in your books, Young Star. Open, please. Page 40. Page 40 and 41. Okay, open, please. Open your books. Let's start with the vocabulary, okay? Listen and repeat, please. Come on. Good. Listen and repeat, okay? Open your microphones. Repeat. Cross the street. Cross, Cross the street. street. Cross the street. Cross the street. Line. 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 Bicycle Bicycle track. Bicycle track. Bicycle rack. Bicycle rack. Pavement. 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 Park. 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 Ticket. 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 Bicycle lane. Bicycle lane. Bicycle lane. Bicycle lane. Traffic lights. Traffic lights. Traffic lights. Traffic lights. Escalator. 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 Excellent, my friends. Very good. Cross the street. You know, cross is the action. No? When you go to one side to another side. Cross. Cruz no, no, no. It's the action. Cruzar la calle. It's an action. Cross the street. Cross. Line. Teacher, what is line? You know, in other countries, you can see this line map for the buses, for the trains, for the trains, for the undergrounds. Okay, this is line. You know, one bus start here and continue the road, the streets, and then stopped. This is a line. Okay. Exist bus line, train line, okay, underground line. This is line. Bicycle rack. The bicycle rack is the place where you park your bicycle. 
in Huancayo is not common, no? But yeah, there is some of this in the streets. But in other countries, in other cities, it's very common to see this. Okay, bicycle rats. Payment. You know payment is this part. When you are walking on the street, you must walk for the payment. Not for the road, not for the street, for the payment. Okay, park. Yeah, teacher, let's go to the park. Yeah, this is park, but there is other meaning. Park means in Spanish, estacionarse. Okay, like a verb, park. Ticket, you know what's ticket. In this case, a bus ticket, no? Now pay attention here. This is line, lane. Line, lane. The bicycle lane is the special part, the special part where you can ride your bicycle. It's not a payment, huh? It's different. It's a special part on the street. In Huancayo also, it's not common to see this. It's not common. But in other countries, in the United States, in Europe, it's very common use, okay? It's very common that you ride your bicycle in the bicycle lane. The traffic light, you know, traffic lights, you know this. An escalator, no? Good. Let's read the vocabulary, okay? Let's see. Enrique, please, read the vocabulary, okay? Enrique, read please. Cross the street. Line. Okay, it's only reading. Maybe has problems no, with the microphone. Yeah, let's see. Hector Solis, please, Hector, read the vocabulary, okay? Thank you. Cross the street lane, but basic work. Continue. Pavement. Park. Ticket. Bicycle line. Traffic leaks. Escalator. Thank you, Hector. Good. Only be careful with this word. Bicycle. Okay, Hector? Bicycle rack, bicycle lane. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Luciana Freire. Luciana, can you read please the vocabulary? Luciana. Yes. The same, you have problems now with the microphone. Let's see. Valerie, Profe, yes, Luciana. Mm, yeah. Yes, it's okay. Read, please. Mm, cross the street. Mm, line. Bicycle rack. Basic pavement. Good. The next part. Ticket. Basic line. Traffic la line. The line. Escalator. Thank you, Luciana. Thank you, Luciana. Good. Repeat, please. Open your microphones, everybody. Repeat. Bicycle. Bicycle. Bicycle rack. Bicycle rack. 
Bicycle lane. Bicycle lane. Traffic lane. Bicycle lane. Bicycle lane. Payment. 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 It's not pavement, huh? Pavement, yeah, maybe in Spanish, but this is payment. Okay? Payment. Help me to find payment. this person. Yeah, the payment. Help me to find payment. this payment. Here, please, okay? Go to a notar, please, hurry up. Go to a notar in Zoom. And tell me, and help me, please, to find across the street, the action, ticket, line, bicycle rack, traffic light, payment, escalator, and park. Go, okay? Leonardo, please, help me with one. Nurka. Fabricio. Sí, teacher, justo estaba listando. Good. Very good. Cross. Yes, if you find one, teacher, I find one. Circle, please. Okay? Circle. But only one time, okay? Not two times, please. For example, this, no? Only the red, please. If one student finish, now you continue with other work. Okay? Very good, cross, ticket, very good, Nurka. Very good, Diego, park. Adriana, excellent, Adriana. Bicycle, rack, traffic lights, pavement and escalator, okay, it's missing these words. Look for, please, look for one word, okay? Daira, very good. Only one time, okay, Diego, only one. Good, Mateo, very good, Mateo, escalator. Cross, yeah, we have cross. Only one student, okay? Only one. It's missing bicycle, traffic light, and rack. Nurka, what word is this, Nurka? Very good, Fabricio. Bicycle. No, it's here, no? Bicycle. Good. Rock and traffic light, okay? Camila Santillana, very good. Excellent, traffic light. Only one place, Camila was the first. Profe, yo fui el primero. No, Daniel, I was looking. Mentir. Daniel, please. Teacher, yo estaba haciendo y Camila me ganó. Rock, please. Teacher, otra cosa, teacher, es, es esta la T en, en tra, traffic, es esta la T. Rock, very good, Nurka. Rock is here, okay? Yes, traffic light. Okay, traffic light. T. Okay, good. This is our vocabulary. Now, please, let's return to our books, okay? Because we are going to learn some rules. Some rules we must follow when we are on the street or when we are traveling by bus or when you are riding your bike, okay? Pay attention to this article, please, now. Pay attention. But listen, in this time, you are going to identify, not a vocabulary, you are going to identify the rules we must obey. 
could be an obligation or it could be a prohibition. Okay? Remember, for obligation, we practice have to, don't have to, and prohibitions. Try to find, you are going to identify rules, like you must buy a ticket, this is a rule, or you are going to find prohibitions. You mustn't cross the street. You can park here, another prohibition. Okay, in the text, in this article, let's identify obligations, prohibitions. Okay, listen, please. Two, listen and read. Then match the rules with the photos. Getting around town. When you are out and about, you can have lots of fun, but you must follow rules that keep you safe too. One, on the street. You mustn't cross the street when the light is red. You should wait for the green light and then you can cross the street. Two, by bike. You must always wear your helmet and stop at red traffic lights. Remember, you can't ride your bike on the pavement. You must use the bicycle lanes and you should park your bike at a bicycle rack. Continue, please, continue. Three, by bus. You can't get on without a ticket, so you must always buy one at the bus station or from the bus driver. Also, you can't eat or drink on the bus, and you shouldn't talk loudly on your mobile. Four, buy underground. You must buy a ticket at the station, and remember that you can't change lines at every station. When you are on the escalators, remember that you should stand on the right. Okay. Now, again, please listen. We are going to listen one more time. You please identify the rules we must obey. Complete ideas. Huh? For example, teacher, is it okay? You mustn't cross. Yeah, but it's incomplete. You mustn't cross what? The street when the light is red. You see, this is a complete idea. So in your book, identify, please, the rules we must obey, okay? In your books. Then you help me here, okay? Listen one more time. Identify, please, the rules, the prohibitions. Two, listen and read. Then match the rules with the photos. Getting around town. When you are out and about, you can have lots of fun, but you must follow rules that keep you safe too. One, on the street. You mustn't cross the street when the light is red. You should wait for the green light and then you can cross the street. Two, by bike. You must always wear your helmet and stop at red traffic lights. Remember, you can't ride your bike on the pavement. You must use the bicycle lanes and you should park your bike at a bicycle rack. Continue, please, listen. Three, by bus. You can't get on without a ticket, so you must always buy one at the bus station or from the bus driver. Also, you can't eat or drink on the bus and you shouldn't talk loudly on your mobile. Four, buy underground. You must buy a ticket at the station and remember that you can't change lines at every station. When you are on the escalators, remember that you should stand on the right. Okay, identify please, underline the rules. Okay, remember, when we talk about rules, we use must or mustn't. When we talk about prohibitions, we use 
mustn't or can. Okay. Now, tell me another rule, please. Here, Nurka, underline, please, in the book. One rule more. Okay. Okay, teacher. Um, and on the street. Yes, on the street in the number one. Mm, you shall wait for the green light and then you can cross the street. Excellent. If there is all this, yes, because it's a complete idea. You can stop here. Is here, teacher? No, it's incomplete. You need to underline all. We have two rules, okay? The red and the green. Very good. Fabricio, please, can you tell me another in by bike? Uh, right, teacher. Um, you can you can ride your bike on the pavement. You should park your bike in a bicycle rack. Yeah, you tell me two rules. One is you can ride your bike on the pavement. You see, it is an, this is one idea because the period is there. And then you tell me another, no? You should park your bike at the bicycle rack. We, here we have another rule. Let's see. Adriana, please tell me one rule more by bike. One more. Because there is one. Adriana. No. Angel, please. Adriana, tell me, please. No problem. Or Angel. There is no, one. Yes. Profe, ¿podría repetir la pregunta? Tell me one rule we must obey when you are riding your bike in this parada. Mm. La uno. Read, please, read. In the number two, by bike. By bike. You must always wear your helmet and stop and at red traffic lights. Remember, you can ride your bike on the pavement. You must use the bicycle lanes and you should park your bike at a bicycle rack. Okay, thank you, Angel. Yeah, you read the article, not the paragraph, this paragraph, but we need to identify. The rule is this, no? You must always wear your helmet. This is another, no? One idea, no? Finishing this part. Adriana, can you tell me one more? In your books, please identify the same, okay? Equal in your books. We have other, no? You must use the bicycle lane. You see, this is another rule. In your books, the same, please, okay? In your books, the same. Identify the idea, the complete idea. Good, this is one and two. Let's continue with three and four, okay? The same. Let's see. Christina, please tell me one rule about by bus. By the profe? By bus, number three. Um, you can get on with, without a ticket, so much always boot. Boy one. Yeah, very good. This is one, no? This is one idea. I'm finishing this part, no? Very good. You must buy a ticket. No, this is the rule. Good. Let's see. Julio, please, can you tell me another rule when you travel by bus? You can't eat or drink in the bus. In the bus. Yeah, very good. 
Very good. The idea is stop here, no? You can eat or drink on the bus. This rule finish in this form. Good. Daniel, please tell me one rule by bus. One rule more. You must buy one of a double station. Mm, yeah, but it's here, no? It's, um, it's incomplete idea. Other, different, please. Read one more time. No rules. Jose, please help me. Tell me one rule in the number three. One more. You shouldn't talk loudly on your mobile. Very good. This is the rule, no? You shouldn't talk loudly on your mobile. Okay, good. Very good. Now let's continue with the four. The same. Let's identify the rules. Let's see. My friend, Raider, please. Raider, tell me one rule, please. In the number four. Teacher? Read one you must, you must buy a ticket at the station and remember you can chain links at every station. Yeah, very good. But this is two ideas, no? Only one at a station. This is one idea. You must buy a ticket at a station. This is one. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because if you continue reading, he's talking about other things. Two ideas. Martin, please. Martin, tell me one rule for number four. Martin, Aquino, yeah, maybe has problems. Luciana Arbe, Luciana, can you read one rule more? Luciana. No? Okay. Adriana Cayupe, please. Adriana, tell me one rule more, okay? Profesor, creo que porque Luciana no puede hablar es por su por, el, por su problema de su audio. Yes, thank you, Luciana Pérez. Thank you. Adriana, please. Teacher, tell me one rule. ¿Me escucha? Yes. Okay. Uh, you can take line on every station. Yeah, very good. This is another, no? You can change lines in every state. Good. And the last is this, okay? The last is you should stand on the right on the elevator, on the escalator. Okay? We have three rules here. Please, in your books, the same. Identify, okay? The rules. Now, please. Easy, you no? Know? Tell me please this. Let's match these pictures, okay? What number is this? The number, the picture A. Tell me. Nurka, what number is this? One, two, three, or four? Is a two. A two, very good. No, I'm talking about bikes. Very good. Enrique, the picture B. What number is the picture B? Enrique is talking about the street, the bus, the underground. Teacher, the tree? Yeah, the tree. Very good. By bus, no? Good. Alison, please. The picture C. About the street or the underground? Okay. 
Alison. No. Teacher. What number is Alison? Jose, please tell me, Jose, what number is the picture seen? For teacher. Four. Very good. Easy, no? And finally, Camila Baltasar. Camila, tell me the picture D. Camila, what picture is this? On the street, by bike, by bus, by underground. By underground. D, the last. By underground? No, my friend. It's the number one when you are walking on the street. Okay? When you are walking. Now, please. Let's continue, okay? Tell me rules very fast. You have your book, huh? You have your book. You underline the rules. Tell me what rules we must obey when we are on the street. Tell me examples very fast. Fabricio Prudenci, tell me one. One rule we must obey when we are on the street. You should wait for the green light and then you cross the street. Excellent, no? We should wait. Another rule, please. Camila Santillana, can you tell me another rule? When we are on the street. You should buy a ticket when you go on the bus. Yeah, but that rule is for the bus. When you are on the street, Oh, uh, um, you must go to the look at this picture. What is this place? You must walk on the street. On the street on the payment on the payment on the payment no remember this is a safety rule very good thank you one is no you can cross the street and the other is you okay you must walk for the payment not for the street for the payment okay good tell me rules about when you are riding your bicycle your bike let's see Daniel, please tell me one rule. You need to go with um, in the in the bike street. Uh, in the bicycle, what is this? Is in your vocabulary, Daniel? This in the bicycle. lane okay you need to go okay you need to go for the bicycle lane you know the special part only for bicycles good another example please another rule we must obey what about this look at this picture look at this picture what is the rule Nurka, please tell me the rule for this um you must always wear your helmet and stops and the red traffic lights. Very good. Only the first part, no? When you, you always have to wear a helmet. A helmet. Very good. Joshua, please, what about this picture? Um, bicycle rack. Yes. But in a sentence, please, Joshua, in a sentence. You must. You must. Park. You must huh? park. Yes. Park. The park. bicycle. The bicycle rack. 
in the bicycle rack. Yes, this is a rule, no? You must park your bike on the bicycle rack. Very good. What about when we travel by bus? What about the rules and also some prohibitions? Okay. Let's see. Angel, please. Angel, can you tell me one prohibition or one rule? Mm, you must, mustn't. Uh, drink? No, you you mustn't eat of the bus. Very good, my friend. Very good. You mustn't eat or drink. No, in one country, you know, it's not like the rule. No, but in other countries, yes, huh? It's a prohibition. You mustn't eat. You can eat on the bus. You can drink on the bus. Okay, good. Mateo, please tell me another. Mateo, tell me another about this picture or this picture. Mateo. Okay, let's stop here, okay? Let's go to books. Read, please, one more time your article. Read and answer these questions, okay? Let's answer these questions. I'm going to give you three minutes. Answer these questions. When can you cross the street? When? Make a sentence, please, okay? You can use your When the light is in green. When the traffic lights are in color green. Are in color green, is in green. Very good, very good, thank you. But the rest, please, the same in your books, okay? Three minutes, please. What must you always wear? Where should you park your bike? Where can you buy a bus ticket? Where? What can you do on a bus? What is the prohibition in the bus? Which side should you stand up, stand, remember? On when you are on the underground escalator. Three minutes, okay? Read please one more time your article and write the sentence. Answer this, these questions, okay? Belen, please, Belen, you are going to answer the number two, okay, Belen? So, ready? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. yes, 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 don't worry, Belen, you have two minutes more, then you answer the number two, okay? Hector, please, you the number three, okay, Hector? Yes, teacher. You have two minutes, please, okay? Two minutes to finish. Let's see. Mm, wrong year, let's see. This? Valerie, please, Valerie, you the next. Okay. Diego, please, Diego, you the next. And finally, Joaquin, please, you the last, okay, Joaquin? Yeah, one minute more, huh? one minute more, please.
Okay, Belen, please, can you read the number two? Yes, teacher. Mm, you must wear a helmet. Very good. Very good, Belen. You must wear a helmet, no? Because the question says, what must you always wear? You must wear a helmet. You must wear your helmet. Very good. Hector, please, can you read the number three? Hector, where? Remember, you can ride your bike. Hector, one more time, listen. Where? Donde? Where should you park your bike? Where? In the street? In the traffic line? In the pavement? In the bicycle rack? Where? In the bicycle ramp. Yes, in the bicycle rack, no? At the bicycle rack. Good. It's not only on the street, huh? Or on the traffic lights. There is a special place. Good. Valerie, please, the same, Valerie. Where, Valerie? Where can you buy a bus ticket? Very good. You have two options. A bus station, on the bus station, or from the brass driver. No? You have these two options. Good. Diego, please. Number five. What can you do on a bus? You can get on without a ticket. You can't eat or drink on the bus. Very good, Diego. Very good, no? It's impossible to travel in the bus without a ticket. So you must buy a ticket. And the provision also is you mustn't eat or drink. Very good. Very good. And Joaquin, please, the last. Joaquin, which side should you stand up, stand on when you are on the underground escalator? Teacher. You must go on the right side. Excellent, excellent. On the right side. On the right. Okay. You must always stand on the right. Very good, my friends. Now let's let's play one kahoot. Okay, let's play one kahoot using the vocabulary, this vocabulary, and using the rules on the street, on the bike, by bus, or underground. Okay, let's go to kahoot. Let's open one. If you didn't finish, it's here, okay, the book. Finish, please, the activity. And if you finish, let's open one Kahoot, okay? Remember the vocabulary we have in our books? And the prohibitions, must, mustn't, or can't. Okay, let's see. Finish, please. If you didn't finish, if you didn't complete, complete this in your books. Write your names, please, in Kahoot, okay? Your names. Because if you write other name, then I don't know if you are participating or not, okay? This is the code, the game thing, okay?
Very good, Alison. At the end, a data root. I suppose you finish this, okay? I am going to maximize. Okay, let's see. Good. The questions are about our vocabulary, okay? Our vocabulary and about the rules. Martin, very good, you are here. Daniel, please enter. Daniel, enter to the game, please. Luciana, enter, please. Daniel, please enter to the game. Luciana Arve, please enter. Oh, Daniel, here, you are here. Sorry, Daniel, you are here. Mm -hmm. Let's start, okay? Oh, it's missing three students. Christina, please. Oh, it's here, Christina. So, maybe Shana Arbor, good. Joaquin. Hector, please. Hector. Hector, enter, please. We are waiting only for you, Hector, please. Enter. Okay, let's start, okay? Let's start with the game. Very good. You have to cross. Okay. It's a possibility. The other possibility is you must cross. But not a negative. Right? It's not a prohibition. When the light is green, you must cross. You, Profe, have, pero to cross. Cuenta más puntos? you have to cross. Okay. The same. The two are okay. The two answers, the two options are okay. When you are walking on the street, payment, remember, payment, not on the line. Not on the bicycle line, only for bicycles. On the payment. Next question, okay, let's see.
bicycle lane. Remember, this is the special part only for bicycles. Okay. You must buy a ticket to travel on the bus. It's an obligation, okay? You can't buy a ticket, so it's free. No, it's not free. You mustn't buy a ticket. It's not an obligation. Yes, it's an obligation. Buy a ticket, okay? You have to wear a helmet. It's an obligation, remember, you have to. Okay, when you are riding your bike. Also, it's important buy a ticket to travel by underground, okay? Similar to the bus. You, need, you must buy a ticket. I always park my bike in the bicycle rack. Remember, this is special only for bikes. Good. We have two prohibitions when you are traveling by bus. You can eat or drink, and also you can talk loud loudly on your mobile, okay? This is, the two are okay. Belen, very good Belen, good. Adriana, nice job Adriana, second place. Congratulations Adriana, and Daira please. Excellent job Daira, number one. Leonardo, my friend, you are in four, and Camila, you are in number five, good. Now, Let's learn more rules when we talk about when we when we are working, okay? When we are working. Sorry, when we are when we are riding our bikes, okay? Listen please, listen this audio and complete with the missing words. The number 1 and the number 2, you know these words. Are simple words. The number three is a number in English, a number. The number four and the number five are colors, two colors. And the number six is one part of your body. Okay, listen please and complete. The activity four, okay, listen. Four, listen and complete the leaflet. Hi, Sean. Can I ask you some questions about bike safety? Okay, what would you like to know? Actually, 
Our PE teacher gave us a leaflet about bike safety today, and I want to see what you know. <laughs> OK, then. I'm listening. Well, we all know that we must always wear a helmet. But what do we have to wear when we cycle at night? That's easy. We have to wear bright clothes. We mustn't wear dark clothes. It's dangerous when drivers can't see you. That's right. OK, now. What distance do we have to keep from cars? Hmm, is it half a metre? No, it isn't. We must ride one metre away from cars. Next question. What must we have on our bikes? We must have a white light at the front and a red light at the back. These help drivers see us. Very good. Now, for the last question. How do we show drivers which way we are going to turn? With our arms, of course. Good job, Sean. You are a careful cyclist. Listen one more time, okay? Listen, try to complete. Remember, one and two are words you know. Three is a number. Four and five colors. And six, part of your body. It's a part of your body. Listen, please. Four. Listen and complete the leaflet. Hi, Sean. Can I ask you some questions about bike safety? OK. What would you like to know? Actually, our PE teacher gave us a leaflet about bike safety today, and I want to see what you know. <laughs> OK, then. I'm listening. Well, we all know that we must always wear a helmet. But what do we have to wear when we cycle at night? That's easy. We have to wear bright clothes. We mustn't wear dark clothes. It's dangerous when drivers can't see you. That's right. OK, now, what distance do we have to keep from cars? Hmm, is it half a metre? No, it isn't. We must ride one metre away from cars. Next question. What must we have on our bikes? We must have a white light at the front and a red light at the back. These help drivers see us. Very good. Now, for the last question. How do we show drivers which way we are going to turn? With our arms, of course. Good job, Sean. You are a careful cyclist. OK, Belen, please, Belen. You finish or one more time? One more time, teacher, please. Okay, I'm going to put you one more time, but complete, please, okay? Then I'm going to choose some students here, the names, okay? Let's listen one more time. Angel, please, you the number one. Pay attention. I put you. Luciana Arde, Luciana, you complete, please, the number two in the chat, okay? Complete in the chat, the number two, okay? Camila Baltasar, please, the number three. The same, if you had problems with the microphone, in the chat, complete in the chat. Okay? Martin, please, Martin, you the number four. You can listen in the chat, please, okay? Fabricio, you the number five, okay, Fabri? Oh, sorry, Mauricio, Mauricio, sorry, Mauricio, Mauricio. Pacheco, number five, okay? And finally, Raider, please help us with the last, okay? Listen one more time. Four, listen and complete the leaflet. Hi, Sean. Can I ask you some questions about bike safety? Okay. What would you like to know? Actually, our PE teacher gave us a leaflet about bike safety today, and I want to see what you know. <laughs> OK, then. I'm listening. Well, we all know that we must always wear a helmet. But what do we have to wear when we cycle at night? That's easy. We have to wear bright clothes. We mustn't wear dark clothes. It's dangerous when drivers can't see you. That's right. OK, now. What distance do we have to keep from cars? Hmm, 
Is it half a meter? No, it isn't. We must ride one meter away from cars. Next question. What must we have on our bikes? We must have a white light at the front and a red light at the back. These help drivers see us. Very good. Now for the last question. How do we show drivers which way we are going to turn? With our arms, of course. Good job, Sean. You are a careful cyclist. Good. Uncle, please read the number one, okay? Always wear a helmet. <clears throat> Excellent, my friend. Excellent. Helmet. Luciana Arbe, please. The number two. If you have problems with your microphone, go to the chat and complete in the chat, okay? Camila Baltasar, Camila, can you read the number three? Keep. Camila, no. Martin, please read the number four. What color of light? Martin, go to the chat, Martin, and complete in the chat, okay? okay. Yeah, what color is Martin? Red. Good, white, white light. Mauricio Pacheco, Mauricio, what color is for the back? Green? Blue, yellow is a color in English. No, you didn't listen. Raider, please, can you read the number six? Rafael, escucho entrecortado. Raider, please, the number six. Rafael. Profe, le escucho entrecortado. Raider, read the number six, please. Profe, le escucho entrecortado. Okay, okay, let's see. Who can help me? Raider, te estoy diciendo que leas la, la número seis. Your part, Raider. This is your part. Okay, let's see. The number two. The number two is clothes. At night, wear bright clothes. Okay? Bright clothes. Three, one meter. One. One meter away from cars. In your bicycle, red light at the back. The color red. And finally, your arms. Use your arms. Okay? Let's see, let's see. Complete, please, complete this part. Okay. And now, let's see. Finish, please, with this part. Now, let's go to quizzes, okay? We are going to finish with this activity. Finish, if you didn't finish, let's work now with quizzes, okay? The same, we are going to make a revision of the vocabulary, okay? But in this time, you are going to complete. You need to write. It's not only check. You need to write, okay? You need to write bicycle, plane, or rack, or park, okay, the word. Let's open one quizzes, okay, let's go. Joinmyquiz.com, you know this, okay.
Pero profesor, usted también puede mandar el link. Yes, yes, I know. I know, I, I can send you the link. But if you have... Profe, no veo. Si tienes el acceso directo, ábrelo así como lo abres en Kahoot. The same. Ok. Ok, let's start with these quizzes. Tú te puedes in iniciar después, iniciar después, no hay ningún problema. El quiz permite ingresar después. Ok, los que ya iniciamos, vamos avanzando, ok. Profesor. 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 Me parece que yo no voy a poder entrar porque me parece no se puede acceder a este sitio web. Ok. Luciana, en tu computadora, así como has creado un acceso directo para, para acá, o para otras actividades, también puedes crear un acceso directo para el quizzes. No. Así como tienes un acceso directo para Kahoot, lo mismo debe haber en tu computadora. Un acceso directo para que ingreses al Quizzes o al Socrative también. Yo les aconsejo que hagan eso. Simplemente tú abres una ventana e ingresas a tu acceso directo. Y pones el código que lo te envía. ¿Ok? El código, el, el link es este, ¿ves? A veces el link lo cambia, por los slash lo cambia. Entonces ingresas directamente, pones el código y listo. Inicias. Que yo les aconsejo que hagan eso para que sea más fácil. Lo mismo hagan con el Socrative, porque más adelante vamos a trabajar también con el Socrative. Que yo también tengo acceso directo a Carrivita. Good, very good, Lana. Ok, always, quizzes, Kahoot, Socrative, genially, so you use easy. Ok. In this quiz you have to complete, ok, you have to write. It's not only check. ¿Puedo apagar la musiquita? Okay, if you finish the this quiz, you can go to your break, okay? If you finish, you can go. Continue with your break. Hello, teacher. Bye, Leonardo. Thank you. Bye, bye, teacher. Thanks teacher. for the class. Quizzes is done. Bye, teacher. 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 Bye,